Yo guys, welcome to the second episode of Struggle to Glory. Episode 1 was quite easy, we cleaned Division 10. But let's see how, how we do in episode 2 in Division 9. Should be harder, hopefully. And yeah, I'm trying this setup because I'm going to record it live. Complicated to say why, but I'm going to have my PlayStation here. You guys are here, just so I can record live and then I'll cut it up and show you the highlights. Anyway, let's get started. Joe Charles, the legend. This will be my team for the second episode. Should be fun. Let's go. Oh man, my team sucks. Like his team, of course, almost full gold. Very Argentinian. Can I do it? This guy must be laughing at my team right now. I'm new to YouTube, so I'm bound to make mistakes. And this was my first one, guys. I recorded the live video, but the mic wasn't loud enough. So you can't hear really shit over the gameplay. My bad. Anyway, I'll do the commentary here, and you can still see me smiling like an idiot on the bottom corner. As we score the first goal with Craig Tanner, the replacement for Joe Charles who was too tired, he had about 70 chemistry, and he can't do magic with that. So yeah, we played Tanner, who couldn't score for the second time, and this is where our opponents start to get a little better, even though it's still Division 9, but you know, you already feel the difference. Here I didn't score because I tried to sweat it like a little bit. And yeah, the opponents are better in defender, they are more dangerous in attack, and it's a bit harder to break them down. Not here, because Rodriguez, our gold player, makes it 2-0, it's looking good. We're going to get promoted, boys. Are we though? Let's see. Iowa alone and he does what the bronze striker does, the bronze shot, which is always fun, I'm having a lot of fun with this team. Sometimes you can be surprised too, like here, my shit keeper making an amazing save, which leads to a dangerous counter attack. Very fast counter attack with very fast bronze players. And the gold one like Rodriguez who fights to win against the lag here and he does, he gets the shot and Iowa, our German striker, makes it 3-0. The win can't get away from us anymore. Fuck the corner flag. We are Fonzo FC. The other guy almost scored here and again. What a keeper, Minelli. The last episode I told you that Italian keepers were good. And here's your proof. He kept attacking, my keeper kept being amazing, <laughs> but he still couldn't score. This guy uh, turned to be better at the end of this episode, but also because I was noticing some mic problems and I was trying to fix it as I played, and it got me a bit, you know, focused away. Yeah, that I'm not going to blame that on lack of focus though, it's just my bronze player being really bad. Or maybe it's me, I don't know. But we get the win, 3-0, three, 3 points, we are on the right track to promotion. So guys, I was already aware that the mic wasn't really working, but I decided to, you know, record myself so you can see my stupid face while I struggle against this team. This guy was the first big challenge of the channel. Not because of the team, I mean it's superior to mine of course, but we, we've beaten worse than that or, or better. But this guy's skill level was much higher than the others, I would say it was uh, you know close to mine. We were close on skill level but of course on, on the teams. His was full gold and mine not and you could really tell the difference here. I was really trying, you can see me there, really focusing to get back to, to a draw, maybe we get a chance to, to win a point, maybe. I really wanted to win the title for you guys on this episode, maybe we will, we will see if I do a comeback. But I just couldn't get past this defense, seriously, I couldn't do anything, I barely had any shot, while this guy, Sabitzer with the number one, this scores an absolute screamer. No chance for the Italian keeper, which I still have to memorize his name. And yeah, on the second half of the game I decided I'm going to get back to the game. I was really focused, I got back in the game, so 2-1, and guess who scored? It's Joe Charles, of course, he's the hero of the channel, of course he's gonna score on 
important game. And right after that, on a counter attack, Jacquete, who played in the Liganos, is a Tondela player, which, you know, it's a club that I like. And I'm back in the game 2 2. I, w I went defensive so I couldn't, you know, lose the point. It was really important to me. I think we could still be champions uh, with the point, but yeah, right at the end, we lost it against Sabitzer. Uh, I was a bit disappointed, but I had no chance really. This guy was good, he deserved the win. Well played. I'm going to play one more game and at least try to get six points. So I decided to show you this boring time just to show you the struggle of having a really shit team. Everyone's tired, everyone is bronze, let's go. So this team, the curious thing about it is that it was two players. So whenever this happens I just imagine being two brothers while one plays foot and is good and the other one is just a little brother or whatever that doesn't play as much and they're just having fun together. And I think this was a case, maybe it was just friends. but. I could tell that one player was better than the other, like that his player will have the ball, uh, be dangerous, he will pass the ball and the other player would just do something silly or not as good, like here, really dangerous shot and then the bad brother uh, just missed an open chance and on the defense it was the same and Joe Charles, he has already two goals, what a goal, what a goal, no chance, bam. I love Joe Chow. Anyway, I was saying that in defense you could also tell that one of the guys was always, you know, a sliding tackle, just uh, sprinting everywhere and every now and then there will be an opponent that he would know what he was doing defending. So it was a very fun game to play. Uh, obviously really easy to find spaces because of the crazy brother. And we make it 4-0 before half time. I'm having a lot of fun. I'm happy. It's another 3 points. I needed the ego boost after the last game. At the same time, I'm feeling bad for the big brother that is losing. But I'm sure these guys were having fun because they they just kept playing the game. And here I get really lucky, and it's 5-0. I stop making an effort on the game. I'm just waiting it to end, and yeah. I guess this is the good brother. What a goal. It doesn't sell oh yeah, it does celebrate dabs on me, which you know, losing 5-0, I'm gonna dab on you as well. 5-1. And uh, they go on and they score another goal. I think this was the, the good brother again, and I missed my chance of you know a huge score. Winning with a huge score of 5-0, 6-0, 7-0. And yeah, here one of the other guys gets a yellow card and I can't do free kicks, at least not with Rodriguez. But I show you that because here, you know, the brothers are going crazy with the slide tackles. We gave up on the game already and they get a red card. I mean it's yellow but it's the second one so it's a red card and this bronze guy they can't use in the next game so yeah, good luck with that. And in the last chance of the game, low, with a low driven shot, makes it 6-2, easy peasy, very fun game. Joe Charles is the hero again, of course, with another hat-trick. This guy is never leaving my team. I think I'm going to buy him on FIFA 18, you know, his bronze card. Maybe he's up to 56 or 58 or something crazy like that. He'll score even more goals for me. I will definitely try his card out because I feel it's overpowered and it's not really a 53. So yeah, we have six points. We're going to record three more games on the next episode. And if we lose another game, we won't be able to be promoted in that episode and we will have to wait an extra episode for the next big pack opening. I really need a pack opening to get my team a little bit stronger, but if I don't win all three in the next game or win two and draw one, I'm fucked and I'll have to stick with this team for an episode more. Anyway, thanks for watching guys and see you next time.